Sometimes I wonder what it is about a steelhead. Why they so often haunt my dreams. One minute, they take a stick like a rampaging big water predator. The next, they're glued to the bottom and dormant, oblivious to the well-fished fly. Steelhead were always a mystery to me. Adults always told me about their trips, adding that I probably couldn't handle the game for a few more years at least. It was a far cry from the little trout creek and the bass ponds that filled my summer days. For three long years I waited until my first trip to the mighty Salmon River was just a week away. I bought my first spay rod, sat down at the vise, and started filling my boxes. We got on 83 and didn't stop till six hours later reached Altmar, New York. I walked through a bear forest to the river till I reached Paradise Pool. I stepped into the run, my wader started to leak, and I swung all day long. The next morning, my best friend Jacob arrived from New Hampshire. We headed back to the river to fish all day. Night was falling, and I was working down the edge of the river for the last time when it finally happened. Alright! <laughs> that is a fish, Adam. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Look at that boy. That fish is a pig. That's gotta be. Wow, Adam. Try to keep him in the water a little bit. That's a 10 pound I know that when I am old, I will remember that fish, how the water boiled around my fly. I will remember the river and the friends I shared it with, and I will fish it till I can't wait anymore, for I'm haunted by waters. <laughs>